Uh, Skipper. It's great to be back. It's great to be back. <laughs> haven't done that walk for a while. I haven't seen you down here for a while. How is it? It's good. It's good. It's great to be back and it's great to see the team playing so well. Yeah, what do you make of the first half? They've been good. Really good. I think, um, you know, we're unlucky not to be two up, but it was a great finish for Glenn and good work for Beram and they've not really caused us any problems. OK, all right. Well, it's lovely to see you. You haven't been down uh, for a while. I mean, you were the skipper here when this, when this place opened, but when you... When, when Gus signed you, he made you captain straight away. I mean, how, were you honoured by that? Yeah, I was. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be the captain coming in, but when I, when I arrived, Gus made me the captain. And I, to, be, to be honest, it was six great years that I had here and I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, I mean, those rainy old days in the porter cabins of the Widdeen, but then you were the skipper when, when we came here and all the Ferrari around this amazing stadium. What was it like the first time you came here? It had been building, I mentioned that in the commentary earlier, it, was, it seemed like a lifetime we were waiting to move into the stadium, but when we got here it, it lived up to its uh, reputation and that first game will go down in a lot of uh, Albion fans' memories, that. Yeah, did you think, uh, what was it, 94 minutes odd in, uh, there he was, Mr Buckley, never in doubt? Never in doubt, so far, I think that's the fastest I've seen Bucks ever run. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, so... Uh, you know, we came here and consolidated and moved up and made Fortress Amex. You know, how, 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 the, how did you instill that within your team? To be honest, at the time we had some really good players. The manager um, was very good at the time as well. Um, and he signed a lot of good players. So it was easy for us moving forward. Um, I think I mentioned earlier as well, if we kept hold of Glenn a wee bit longer, we probably would have got to the Premier League a bit sooner. So... Um, he was a big miss for us, but at the same time, you know, as I, I keep saying it now, it was great. Um, we progressed pretty much every year, and um, obviously, we look around today, they're in the Premiership, so it's fantastic. Yeah, and you say, fantastic six seasons for, for you here, and you really helped with the Premier League, and obviously you keep an eye on Brighton, I'm sure, but how do you think they've equipped themselves in the Premier League over the last season and a bit? I think they've, they've done great. I thought at the start of the season it would be a tough a tougher season for them just because it's like the second season syndrome but I think they've done fantastic and I know coming in here today a lot of the fans were sort of oh we need to kickstart our season today but they've had a, they've had a tough start and um, I think, they'll, I think they'll, they'll be fine again this year Great, well if you say so then that's great um, and what are you up to nowadays? That's me, I retired a couple of months back um, I'd had enough of travelling and and getting shouted at by managers and shouting at referees, I just had enough. So it's uh, it's a bit more time with the family now, and uh, I'm probably looking to try and get into something now, back into football. Or, uh, I would love to get into the media, so you better watch yourself. I'm coming for your job. Yeah, you've been doing a bit of media work, haven't you? We've been seeing you on the TV, and you're working for BBC Southern Counties today. Yeah, it's great. I enjoy it. Um, and but again, I'm starting afresh. You know, it's it's a strange. Uh, you play football all your life. You've got all this knowledge, but you're sort of you're back at Stage one, um, a novice, so it's great learning something new and I'm really excited for the future. Yeah, all right, well, you can't have my job because you couldn't take the pay cut, that's for sure. Anyway, listen, it's great to see you. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Greer, everyone. Great to have him back.